welcome to your fourth virtual assembly with me, Miss Doherty, week commencing Monday the 11th of May 2020. Welcome to your fourth virtual assembly. Last week, Mr. Rowland spoke to you about routines and why and how they're really important to keep yourself in a positive state. Um, and I'm continuing with that idea of you know keeping a positive outlook because we need to um, keep smiling because obviously these are difficult times. We do not yet know how long they're going to go on for. Um, but just to remind you that we're all at school here for you. So if you email us, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, so it's about smiling, keeping smiling, looking at the glass that is half full rather than half empty. And there is some scientific evidence that does suggest a smile um, actually uses less muscles than a frown. So if we want to be energy efficient as well, if we want to think about energy efficiency, we should keep smiling as well. Um, my assembly today focuses on the, um, looking at positive things, looking at things that might make us smile. So hopefully I've found a few things um, that will make one or two of you smile. Hopefully there's something in there for everyone. Um, a little bit of research behind why we smile, the importance of smiling. Um, there's, some, there's some jokes, <laughs> my kind of jokes. Um, there are some clips, again, my kind of clips, and some pictures. And those of you know, that know me particularly well will notice that there is one image that would makes me smile in particular. So I would like to say um, very good morning to you all and enjoy the rest of the assembly. And I'll see you at the end just to say um, farewell. So enjoy. So why do we need uh, a sense of humour. Why do we need to smile? So at this moment in the assembly hall, I'd normally stop and ask you um, that question and take some answers. So I know you're thinking and you're thinking, you know, because it's nice to it's nice to smile at people. It's nice to have a sense of humour um, and it helps brighten our day. I find quite amusing. I bought something from you last week and I'm very disappointed. Oh, yeah? What's the problem? Yeah, well, my Blackberry is not working. <laughs> What's about it? Run out of juice? <laughs> no, no, it's completely frozen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. I'll tell you what, let's try it on orange. <laughs> It's got a few black spots, you see. Oh dear, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> well, there I need to get my BlackBerry working. Well, it could be an application issue. But where do you store that BlackBerry? Well, it's on my desktop. Well, you could try using a mouse to drag the BlackBerry to the trash. <laughs> then after you've done that, you might want to launch the BlackBerry from the desktop. <laughs> Well, I've already tried that a few times. I mean, all it did was mess up windows. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it might be worth waiting a couple of weeks. They got the latest blackberries coming in then. Well, could you give me a date? Certainly. <laughs> Let me put that date in my diary. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Yes, yes. I've also got a problem, to be honest, with my apple. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, that is an old apple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when did you buy that? Yeah, last week. Last week? Oh, they brought out two new apples since then. <laughs> What's the problem with it? Well, I tried to put my dongle in it and <laughs> it won't fit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and how big's your dongle? <laughs> well, I don't know much about these things, but my wife's seen a few dongles in her time. <laughs> and she says it's a little bit on the small side. <laughs> well, I'm afraid there's not a lot I can do about that. <laughs> Tell you what, let me try booting it. <laughs> no, 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Well, funnily enough, yes, my grandson's birthday soon, you oh, see. Yeah. Now, he's already got an apple and a blackberry. I mean, have you got anything else that you might just like? Well, we're doing a special offer on these. I mean, I can't make head or tail of them, but the kids seem to like them. Oh, yeah. Eggs box. <laughs> 360. <laughs> It was my kind of humour. OK, so you might find jokes more um, amusing. So did you hear the guy about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? He won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> um, another one. I sold my vacuum cleaner the other day. Why, I hear you ask. Well, all it was doing was gathering dust. Again, I did say they were my kind of joke. OK, so why do we need a sense of humour? Um, here's the science, guys. So a wealth of evidence has found that funny people tend to be smarter, healthier and less stressed. Uh, funny people may appear more attractive. Um, also, funny bosses might lead better teams. Funny teachers create stronger students and it helps to relieve stress. Studies have found that experiencing positive emotional states such as joy and happiness increases production of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine makes us feel good and it also opens up learning centres and helps us to enable and sustain more neural connections. And as a result of this, we become a lot more flexible in our thinking and better at solving problems and it boosts our working memories. So research and use of humour in education supports the notion that humour is an effective aid for learning. So several studies have shown that lessons that are delivered with a sense of humour are more enjoyable for you students and enhance your um, understanding and recall of your topics. So here are some images that I think are quite amusing. We all like a funny animal or two. So can you spot which one might be my favourite? I'll leave you to think about that one. This is a poem I found by Catherine Pulsifer, um, and I thought it was just quite nice to sort of look at poetry as well. So laughter is a gift, but it doesn't mean you're fit, but it will soften any tension. It could be considered stress prevention. Find a reason to laugh. Just look at a funny giraffe. Watch a funny show, a transformation you will go. Read a silly book and laugh so others will look. Or watch some children play. They always find a yay. The most wasted of all days is one where laughter is delayed. It's when life gets you down, please don't frown. So take this wonderful gift and don't ever be miffed. Laughter makes a living for us to be giving. And here's Hi everyone, who, just thought I'd um, give you a bit of an update on what I've been well. up to whilst we've not been at school. Hopefully give you a few ideas to help keep yourself busy as well. So for those of you that know me well, I'm a bit of a fitness fanatic, so every day I've been going for my run um, at 6am, so I have been enjoying a lion, which is a nice change for me. Um, I do my Joe Wicks every day at 9 o'clock, so if you're doing it too, think of me there with you. Although I'm doing it on my own, because my 7 year old, who it's designed for, thinks it's not cool. Um, I've been doing loads of decorating, loads of reading, loads of Paw Patrol watching, and of course loads of homeschooling. Um, and I've decided I definitely don't want to teach primary. So I can't wait to be back teaching all of you. Stay fit, stay healthy, but most importantly, stay safe. See you soon. Just to remind you, year seven and eight, here is your weekly timetable. So please be logging on to your Google Classrooms, check any messages there by your teachers, and this is what you're doing for seven. Here you are, year nine. Here is your timetable for the week. Just to remind you again, just email your teachers if you're unsure of anything. Then here is your timetable for the week. But as I say, don't stress about this. Make sure you log on and any problems, just speak to your tutors. The first challenge, uh, Mr. Rowland carried that on and here is my challenge. So please email me. My email is at the bottom of the screen. So this week's challenge, I stay in the corner but travel around the world. What am I? This five letter word becomes shorter when you add two letters. What is it? When you need me, you throw me away. When you're done with me, you bring me back. What am I? Many have heard me, but no one has seen me and I will not speak until spoken to. 
what am I? So if you think you know the answer to any of those, please email me at school and I'll be happy to receive your answers and reply back, okay? Megan, as promised, I'm back um, at the end to say farewell to you. You may have noticed a different backdrop. Well, I thought as I was actually in school today, I thought I'd do it from the assembly hall. So just so that you've got some familiar surroundings, just to prove to you we are in school, we are working for you, um, and I hope you're still well. I hope that you um, found something on that uh, PowerPoint assembly slide that made you smile um, and made you laugh. And did any of you spot my favourite creature amongst the, uh, the several images that you saw there? So it's really important to stay mentally well as well as physically well. So if it's a nice week this week, please go out, stretch your legs, remembering to keep distant from other people. Remember, just stay with your family. Make sure you keep in contact with people virtually over Zoom or any other sort of multimedia social device that you have. And also remember to be checking your emails regularly because we really want to hear from you. Your tutors are emailing you every week. They want to hear from you. Um, it's really lovely as staff when we get your work in and we can communicate with you. I think I'm marking more work now than I marked before. So it's really lovely to, to sort of have that conversation with you and to see some brilliant work that you're doing. So please keep up all the excellent work that you're already doing um, and just keep checking your emails, check your Google Classroom. If you're not sure of something, just let your teachers know via the, the messaging service in the Google Classroom and they will get back to you. But don't stress about it because obviously we know that without your teacher literally in front of you, it can be quite difficult sometimes to understand what they mean. But if you message them via the classroom messaging service, they will get back to you. So um, have a lovely week. Enjoy the sunshine if it's sunny out there and um, just take care. So see you all soon and hopefully I'll be back in an assembly properly seeing all your beautiful faces rather than at the moment speaking to an empty hall, which is quite all right, but I prefer to see your beautiful faces. So uh, farewell and speak to you all soon.